LED lights. At first, they might appear fantastic. Low power, bright source. However, when we look under the surface, uh, what lies there might actually scare you. Welcome back guys, this is going to be an unusual video that I don't usually do, so if you like it, please leave a comment in the comment section below if you want to see more like it. However, recently the reason for doing this video and the reason for researching LEDs is that we recently put in a blue LED light, a low vision light in our room, and I noticed in the um, after about two weeks of using it, uh, so before that we just had a standard orange bulb in there that blew out, but after about two weeks of using this bulb, uh, I noticed when I'd go to work in the morning, I'd have like black spots in my eyes. And so I started uh, looking up on the internet, you know, are my eyes degrading, do I have some disease? Uh, and then I started looking at LEDs and what I found was pretty, sp well, it spooked me out. However, before we get onto the juicy news, we'll look at what an, essentially an LED is. And essentially what a common uh, standard LED is, is it's got a blue light source that has a yellow layer of phosphor. And that converts the blue light into white, artificial white light. So essentially every time we look at an LED light, we're essentially looking at the core, a blue light. And so if we look at the frequencies here, we can see that red, uh, red's the least, um, well it's the lower frequency, it puts a least, well, the least amount of strain on your eyes as opposed to ultraviolet which is what the sun emits a lot of ultraviolet rays. Uh, but if we look here, white sits below blue. So blue's kind of up there in the spectrum. Uh, white sits below that. So what we've got with LED lights is something that truly is something that's more intense for what it's giving us. And so these articles, they started researching uh, the effects of LEDs, especially blue LEDs, and they found that in some cases, blue light, can cause stress or toxic stress to the retina, especially outside of normal daylight hours. And so the goal of this was not to use too much blue light. Uh, and since LEDs have an element of blue light in them, which we can see whether we like it or not, we're actually looking at, uh, you can see here the spikes here, CCFL versus LED, and I'll get onto that a little bit later, but we see here LED lights, they have that spike there of blue light, which can cause strain to our eyes. So if you're wondering over the last few years why you're eyesight's probably degraded more than it should, then, I mean, your eyes degrade as you get older anyway, that can't be helped, but if you're wondering why your eyes have probably degraded faster than usual, LEDs might be to blame. Uh, I've noticed that my eyesight in the last few years hasn't been all the best, but before that's been 2020, perfect. So I might do an experiment where I change back to CCFL uh, and see how that goes for you guys. Maybe you'd like to be, I'll be a human experiment for you. Hey, how you like that? But uh, in the meantime, we can see here that CCFL is the technology that was mainly used in computer monitors before LEDs uh, didn't have that peak of blue light in there. So they probably didn't cause as much stress as an LED would on your eyes. So that's something to keep in mind. It's something that I found really interesting and something I thought I'd share with you guys. And now in conclusion, I will say that I'm no, um, I'm not, a, I'm not a man of science. I do love science, but I'm not a physicist. I don't know all there is to know about this stuff so i mean if you guys want to chime in, in the comment section below then please chime in and let me know what you guys think but i thought i'd share this information with you as i thought it was pretty kind of a little bit uh scary as well you know so essentially we're all upgraded to leds and we all think they're beautiful and amazing but the truth is they might not be as good as they seem um so anyway guys hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up if if you have any comments which i'm probably sure you do then please leave a comment in the comment section below and i'll catch you guys with another tech video very soon not an unusual one like this one <laughs> anyway bye